Hi, welcome to SA Insight. My name is Dumelo Mare and in today's episode, we are going to look at top 10 South African street foods. Now, some of the best fun in South Africa happens outdoors and perhaps our excellent street food has something to do with it. Here's a roundup of old favorites and a guide for newbies. At number 10, Kota. A Sowetan cuisine to the bunny chow. The kota is a hallowed loaf of bread that is stuffed with flavors. It consists of a kota loaf of white bread that houses hot chips, vianas or a poloni or any other toppings of your liking. These toppings go along with tomato sauce or mustard. The cuisine snack has been famous around our beloved townships and it's an everyday sensation to both young and old South Africans. Many argue that there is no difference between a bunny chow and a kota, but they beg to differ. Comment down below for your own thoughts. At number 9, we have pies. Around the world, the idea of what makes a great pie is often disputed. In South Africa, the garage pie is steeped in urban myth and in some cases, it's made out of stuff of legends. In most petrol stations, the average South African and UK pies often come in varieties. In America, however, the pie is known as a dessert, apple pie being the most famous. Now, it's not really known how the American came to this conclusion. But we are South African and we love our pies the way they are made. What we call a pie or what the Brits call a pastry are most certainly padlocks, if not street food. The best place to get a pie is a bakery or, believe it or not, a petrol station. Locals have been known to sort and choose where to fill their tanks at certain petrol stations because they stock their favorite brand pies and enjoy them. And number 8. Fish and Chips Fish and chips is a hot dish consisting of fried fish and butter served with chips. The dish originated in England where the two components had become introduced from separate immigrant cultures. It is not known who created the culinary fish that became the emblematic British meal. It became popular in South Africa and it is enjoyed by many. Whether you like your fish crisp or slap, and with soak or hake, you'll probably be surprised how these two go along together. And number seven, masala coated pineapples. Masala pineapples may not be famous, but they are certainly a long established street food. Served on the Devon beach front for decades, they are a sweet and spicy snack for the brave newbies and old fans. Pineapples have a crisp texture and tangy tasty that is loved by both adults and kids alike. So if you are brave and would like to try out some new snack, this is a good place to start. At number 6, walkie talkies. And no, I am not talking about the signal communication system. I am talking about a street food that goes by the name of Maudwana. So, walkie talkies are fried chicken feet that many South Africans love. And they are some of the scariest side of treats when it comes to street food. So smoking stockies bubbling with deep fried chicken feet may not be appealing to everyone, but the dedicated manchas keep fires alongside the roads of home to Kasi. So when they get home, they just have a quick snack and oh my god, they are delicious. At number 5, Fed Cook and Amakwenya. Fat cook is a traditional South African dough bread. The fat cook forms part of South African culture and it is similar to the Caribbean Johnny Cake, the Dutch dough Oliboli, and the Mexican Sopa Pilas. Another similar South African recipe is Amakwenya, that is the Zulu name for this fried dough bun. Fat cook status as a street food is debatable, but Amakwenya leaves no confusion. Traditionally topped with jam, cheese or mint, this is a great snack that most South Africans enjoy in the early mornings before they head to work. At number 4, Bura Roll. Variant to the hot dog is the Bura Vors Roll or Buri, which is a piece of Bura Vors in a hot dog bun, often served with tomato, chili and onion relish. Companion to every sports game, festival and Saturday morning parking lots, the Bura Roll is a South African staple. The smell of frying onions alone will have you lined up for as long as it takes to get you a tomato sauce Bura Vors with a soft white roll. At number 3, Samosa. 
A samosa is a South African fried or baked pastry with a savory filling like spiced potato, onions, peas, beef and other meats. It may take different forms including triangular, cone or half moon shapes, depending on the region of course. But there is only one O in samosa, although you wouldn't see that in Zanzi. Most people eat as much as four at the same time. These golden joy filled triangles flooded South African markets, bakeries, corner shops and even petrol stations. At number two, we have Johnny's Roti. The chip and cheese roti, a Durban favorite, is only available at a place the locals call Johnny's Roti. This is a hangover student's dream that could keep a small family satisfied. The only other branch is in Mowbray, though it's not as famous. Johnny's Roti is very crunchy and flavory, a street snack that you would want to eat. At number one, Mala Mugodu. Mala Mugodu is a South African food. Mugodu and Mala are served as a stew often with hot pop or dumpling. Mala is intestines, usually over mammal such as a cow or a sheep, mixed with herbs and spices. Its rich flavors will keep you coming for more. You'll usually see this dish in Shisanyama, Brai and local markets. This is a dish you wanna taste. Thank you guys for watching. For more content like this, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share and hit the notification button. Thank you.